Dear students, in our earlier classes, we have already become familiar with what our algebraic expressions are. For example, x plus 3, 2y minus 5, 3x square, 4xy plus 7 and so on. You can form many more expressions. As you know, expressions are formed from variables and constants. For example, the expression 2y minus 5 is formed from the variable y and the constants 2 and 5. And the expression 4xy plus 7 is formed from variable x and y and constants 4 and 7. And you also know that value of y in the expression 2y minus 5 may be anything. It can be 2, minus 1, 0, half, anything. Actually, countless different values it can take. Also note that the value of an expression changes with the values chosen for the variables involved in it. For example, when y is 2, the expression 2y minus 5 is minus 1. When y is 0, the expression 2y minus 5 is minus 5. When y is 3, the expression 2y minus 5 is 1. And when y is minus 1, the expression 2y minus 5 is minus 7. Now let us understand certain terminologies related to algebraic expressions. Now we take up the expression 4x plus 5. This expression is made of two terms namely 4x and 5. Terms are added to form an expression. Terms themselves can be formed as the product of factors. For example, in the expression 4x plus 5, the term 4x is a product of the factors 4 and x. And the term 5 is made up of just one factor that is 5. Similarly, the expression 7xy minus 5x has two terms, namely 7xy and minus 5x. The term 7xy is a product of factors 7, x and y. And the second term minus 5x is a product of the factors minus 5 and x. Note that the numerical factor of the term is called coefficient. The coefficient in the term 7xy is 7 and the coefficient of the term minus 5x is minus 5. Now for the given expression let us list out what are the variables present in it and the constants and the coefficients involved in it. The expression is 7x square minus 4x plus 5. This expression contains x as a variable. The number of terms in this expression is 3. They are 7x square minus 4x and 5. The term 7x square is formed by the product of its factors 7, x and x. And the term minus 4x is formed by the product of its factors minus 4 and x. The term phi is made up of just one factor that is phi. Now that we have become familiar with the algebraic expressions and terminologies related to it, now let us understand monomials, binomials and trinomials. The expressions containing only one term are called monomials and the expressions which contains two terms are called binomials and the expressions with the three terms will be called as trinomials and in general an expression containing one or more than one term with non-zero coefficients with variables having whole numbers as coefficients will be termed as polynomials. For example, the monomials are 
फोर एक्स स्क्वायर थ्री एक्स वाई माइनस सेवन जेड फाइव एक्स वाई स्क्वायर टेन वाई माइनस नाइन एम एन पी एंड सो ऑन एंड फॉर द एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ बाइनोमियल्स x प्लस वाई फोर एल प्लस फाइव एम ए प्लस फाइव जेड स्क्वायर माइनस फोर वाई स्क्वायर एक्स प्लस वाई जेड एंड सो ऑन एंड फॉर द एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ ट्राइनोमियल्स x प्लस वाई प्लस जेड टू एक्स प्लस थ्री वाई माइनस फाइव एंड एक्स स्क्वायर वाई माइनस एक्स वाई स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर एंड सम एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ पॉलिनोमियल्स आर थ्री एक्स वाई सेवन एक्स वाई माइनस टेन टू एक्स प्लस थ्री वाई प्लस फोर जेड एंड ए प्लस बी प्लस सी प्लस डी एंड सो ऑन नाउ लेट अस ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड लाइक एंड अनलाइक टर्म्स फॉर दिस लेट अस लिस्ट सम टर्म्स नाउ द टर्म्स आर फाइव एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस थ्री एक्स वाई माइनस नाइन एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस फाइव वाई एक्स माइनस थर्टीन एक्स सेवन वाई सिक्सटीन एक्स माइनस टू वाई टेन एक्स वाई नाउ लेट अस कैटेगराइज दिस टर्म्स इन टू डिफरेंट ग्रूप्स इन सच अ वे दैट दे हैव सेम वेरिएबल्स एंड देयर पावर्स ऑल्सो सेम द ग्रूप्स आर फाइव एक्स स्क्वायर एंड माइनस नाइन एक्स स्क्वायर टू वन ग्रूप माइनस थ्री एक्स वाई टेन एक्स वाई एंड माइनस फाइव एक्स टू द अदर ग्रूप माइनस थर्टीन एक्स एंड सिक्सटीन एक्स टू द अनदर ग्रूप सेवन वाई एंड माइनस टू वाई टू द अनदर ग्रूप दस वी नाउ से दैट द टर्म्स बिलोंगिंग टू द सेम ग्रूप आर लाइक टर्म्स एंड द टर्म्स बिलोंगिंग टू द डिफरेंट ग्रूप्स विल बी टर्म एज अनलाइक टर्म्स दस फाइव एक्स स्क्वायर एंड माइनस नाइन एक्स स्क्वायर आर लाइक टर्म्स एज दे बिलोंग टू सेम ग्रूप Similarly, minus three x y, ten x y, and minus five y x are like terms. The terms five x square and minus three x y are unlike, as they belong to different groups. Thus, we conclude that the terms formed from the same variables with the same powers on them are like terms. Otherwise, they are unlike terms. Now let us move on to add and subtract algebraic expressions. Let us try to understand this with an example. Let us try to add seven x square minus four x plus five with nine x minus ten. For this, we first write the algebraic expression seven x square minus four x plus five, and later we write the second expression in such a way that. Like terms are in the same line. That is, below minus four x we write nine x, and below five we write minus ten. And the term seven x square has not got any like term in the second expression. And now we add expressions by adding these like terms and keeping unlike terms as it is. That is, seven x square. Plus five x minus five. Thus, seven x square plus five x minus five will be the sum of two expressions that we considered with. Now let us move on to another example on addition of algebraic expressions. Let us add seven x y plus five y z minus three z x and four y z. Plus nine z x minus four y and minus three x z plus five x minus two x y. Remember, we need to write them in such a way that we write like terms one below the other. Seven x y plus five y z minus three z x, which is our first algebraic expression, and the second expression below. 5yz we write 4yz and below minus 3zx we write 9zx and we keep minus 4y aside and from the third expression we write 
minus 2xy below 7xy and minus 3zx below 9zx and we also write 5x and then now at the sum we get 5xy plus 9yz plus 3zx plus 5x minus 4y. Thus 5xy plus 9yz plus 3zx plus 5x minus 4y is the sum of three expressions that we considered with. Now let us consider one problem on subtraction of two algebraic expressions. Let us subtract 5x square minus 4y square plus 6y minus 3 from 7x square minus 4xy plus 8y square plus 5x minus 3y. For this, we write the first algebraic expression 7x square minus 4xy plus 8y square plus 5x minus 3y and we write the second algebraic expression in such a way that the like terms come below the like terms that is 5x square below 7x square and we write minus 4y square below 8y square and we write 6y below minus 3y and minus 3 at the end. We need to remember one important thing after writing the second expression that we need to change the sign in terms of second expressions that is plus as minus or minus as plus. So the resultant will be 2x square minus 4xy plus 12y square plus 5x minus 9y plus 3. Thus in this session we have learnt what algebraic expressions are and the related terminologies like variables, constants, coefficients, terms and so on. We also learnt what are like terms and unlike terms and at the end we have learnt about addition and subtraction of algebraic expressions. Thank you. Have a nice day.